Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of Yahweh is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And um, I want to just touch on um, the seriousness of this truth and why we have to fear the Lord. You know, you have men in Israel who know this truth, but they purposely goes off because they self-willed. All right, they don't fear. All right, they don't fear. And, um, you know, you see here from the uh, known video of the week, uh, elder brothers here in Great Millstone also did their responses to this matter. You know, having your Passover, uh, having your Passover, or let's say, let me stand correct, you know, because guys, you know, are in favor of that scripture, a wicked man, um, uh, a wicked man uh, uh, find up an excuse according to his will. So even though, because it really doesn't matter, all right, you said in the video that uh, this was the Passover 2021. So that right there, you set the vibration that this is your celebration of your Passover. To go into details and all that is really neat, no here, nor there. Okay, then you got naked women in here. All right, you got niggas in the club, you know, and uh, this is your Passover, all right? Whether you held the service earlier that day or this was the next day, that it doesn't matter, you know? You said in the video that this is your Passover, Passover 2021, and then you got men in there with, with uh, fringes and all that stuff. But this, 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 is, this is the wrong vibration. You know, they'll say, well, where did we uh, break any laws? All right, this is not the man of person we ought to be, okay? Because it's written, let me read, it's written, and I'm going to come back to Romans. It's written here in Second Peter's, the third chapter, where it says, um, verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with furrent heat and especially in these times man especially what's going on in the world at this very moment okay the level of prophecy which eventually the mark of the beast is going to be implemented okay we're dealing with the with the with the jabb right now all right the jabb pass you know in order for you to move which they're going to get more restricting on it restrictions on it all right in order to move you're going to have to have your jabb Okay, going into what? Buying and selling, the hours of temptations, Jacob's trouble, all that. This is what we're in. It's a process to these prophecies. This is not the time to be in this spirit. And especially not for the Lord's Passover, which is a Solomon assembly. Okay, when Yahweh Shai had his last supper with the disciples and told them to break this bread and drink this wine, which represents his blood and his flesh. See, Yahweh Shai was the, fle the uh, word made flesh. Okay. And scriptures say we always man about in the dying of the Lord. So we follow here at Great Millstone. We follow Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And we take it seriously. Okay. Especially around the time of the Passover. You know. You're supposed to be in a time of reflection. Examination of yourself. You know. Uh, 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 a serious mindset. You know. But at the end of the day. All right. The Lord said to uh, you could use the world, but don't abuse the world. You know, we're looking for grace. We're looking for mercy of the Lord. So we're going to see in that day who the Lord going to show mercy to. So as I say, and I'm going to get off this and I just want to read a scripture and call it what it is. Lord willing, you're edifying. Um, you, you knew men, you knew women that are tuning into the videos. This hair is off. Don't fall for this. Come out of the world, man. All right. 
The scriptures speak on that. Renewing of the mind and being washed by the word. What man you ought to be. You did this. You did this already. All right. You did this already. Party. Chase hoes. All right. We act like a nigga. You got guys in this video. One guy dancing. He think he's Bobby Smurda. He embodied himself and has the spirit of uh, Bobby Smurda in the, in the video. You know, he dancing like Bobby Smurda. I thought that was just Bobby Smurda dance. But you got a guy, you know, dancing as if he is Bobby Smurda. You know, and I, yeah, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, like I said, Elder Brothers here in Great Millstone said it, okay? So, anyway, let's just move on. Get out of that crap. So what manner, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. Now, this conversation here doesn't mean with words, meaning, you know, the, the choices of words you choose to use. It's not talking about that. It's talking about your conduct. And I'll go into it real quick. Uh, conversation. Greek word. Strong's G391. Anastrafe. Anastrafe. It says manner of life, conduct, behavior, deportment. So it's the manner, how you manner yourself, you know. The way that you manner yourself in these times, in these days, it matters, man. It matters. Okay, guys not getting the memo of what time they're living in. The, the way that you manner yourself in these times, in these days of prophecy, it matters. It matters. Okay? Conduct, behavior, deportment. And the whole real deal is, is that guys don't really fear and they're doing what they want to do. All right? So, and it says, looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of the Most High. And uh, Elder Apostle Sahar coined this year, the year of hasting until the, the coming of our Lord. So we're hasting, we're desiring for the Lord to speed up, speed prophecy up for the elixir. So this is the mindset, this is the motto, this is this is the uh, the uh, mindset we want to be in, okay? And especially for the Passover, man. So let me uh, go back to the book of Romans one and uh, eighteen. It says, "For the wrath of Yahweh is revealed from heaven." against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness so guys who know this truth and that are holding this truth and unrighteousness you're going to be dealt with by the lord all right the lord is going to deal with you lest ye repent the lord is going to deal with you it says for the wrath of yahweh is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. Verse 19, because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest in them, for Yahweh have showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power in Godhead so that they are without excuse because that when they knew the most high they glorified him not as the most high neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened okay you know this is not glorifying the lord okay this is not glorifying the lord you could have kept this off camera if that's the case, you know, but you wanted to glorify the Lord when you said that this was your Passover. Give me first. Sorry, baby. 21 Passover. Because you announced it. I'm not playing this video. Okay. Brother seen the video. You, you call yourself glorifying the Lord saying that this is the 2021 Passover. Okay, and then when guys go and break this down, now we got to go into the the nicks and the crannies of things now because the justification is coming, you know, 
And as the scriptures say, a wicked man, for, uh, no, a wicked man findeth an excuse according to his will because he felt like he never goes off. And this is way off. This is way left. You know? They in here celebrating amongst, uh, look like a club with, uh, with, uh, regular people, regular, you know, two thirds in there. And then they got like one part of it, like maybe the VIP section all together. It looked like that. I don't know, but it looked like that, you know, and real quick, this shit right here is the most stupidest shit. You asking these women, are they single? But she's standing before you with her ass out. He's asking them, is they single? Uh, basically inviting her, inviting them to drink with them if they single though. But she's standing before you with her ass out. That's crazy. And then you got this woman here, the heavy set woman. If I could front you, yeah, here she go. The heavy set woman. With blonde hair. Anyway, I'm out. I'm off that crap. Anyway. Uh, let's move on. I want to grab one more precept, and I'm gonna call it a lesson. I didn't want to make this long, but uh, was watching brothers' videos and had to say something. <laughs> Ephesians four and eighteen. Nope. Uh, jump down. Let's jump down uh, to to twenty-two. Ephesians four and twenty-two. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You see that form of conversation, the old man, that's that nigga. Okay. And you women, that's that B I T C H that you was loud, stubborn, forward, proud. Nobody could tell you nothing, but that's what you pushing off. You becoming a new creature in the Lord. Because you believe you women have to learn the technique of being a woman. You know, you don't be no whore. You're not a whore no more. You don't sleep with different men. You lock up with one man and that's your husband until the chariots come. Okay. You learn how to be a woman, a lady, you know, how to be feminine again. You know, how to respect your husband with right, with the right order. Not the, not just because you feel good at the moment, you know, but doing it because you in fear of your how by shimmy out shy you want to be delivered you know it says and then let me say you men putting off that old nigga spirit man you know this shit is nigga this shit right here is nigga this is nigga man you know and, and check this out all right you say these not strippers right but you, okay they bottle girls they, they they bottle girls they carry the bottles to the venue to the vip section for the men or whatever right these be the strippers that be posing themselves in the clubs, all right? Because they the ones that's not ashamed to wear this stuff. And what happens when you, you try to holler at them? Hey, what's good, ma? What's good with you? She go, what's good with you? And you be like, I'm trying to get to know you. And then she go, well, shit. Um, uh, what, well, what, well, what, uh, what, what could you do for me? You know, as soon as she says such a thing as those words, well, which, what could you do for me or, or what I'm going to get out of it? She looking for something, man. So you, what you say? Oh, hey, well, you know what I'm saying? Let me get your number. Let me get your number, you know. Let me finish. Let me have some fun in this party and we can link up later. When you linking up later, you think it's a free ride? You're going to have to pay for that, man. You paying for this. You paying for this. Unless she a, 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 she, she a little busted, you know, a little hot, a little free jump off or something, you know. But you paying for this, man. You paying for this. <laughs> so whether they call under the title of a stripper or not, you know, uh, bottle girls, you paying for this. What you going to do for this? You know? And, and, and men, we all know this, man. If you played the clubs and you old enough and you did that life before you was in this truth, you know what it is. You know what it is, man. All of them, man. It is what it is, man. You know, so, hey, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. I don't want to go too much, say too much. Uh, elder brothers already said what was said. Okay. This ain't the vibration. This ain't the spirit of the Lord. This ain't how you uh, celebrate your Passover.
okay? If that's the case, you could have just, you know, you celebrating your Passover with a bunch of heathens. This is a nigga spirit, man. You know, nothing wrong with a man having a drink and all that, but it's what y'all doing, man. You setting a vibration for, for, for men to go off, to not fully be sincere in this truth. Yeah, you see this, man? Niggas. Niggas, niggas, niggas still think that's why niggas think they still go rap and all that crap like oh, you know what I'm saying you carrying all that shit from the world into this truth the Lord you gonna have, yo. uh, I'm gonna uh, one scripture one scripture one more scripture and I'm gone one more scripture uh, okay let's go to um, 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 10 okay we all gonna be judged it says 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in their in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. The conduct of your behavior, the way you manage yourself, is how you project the image of the Lord. We supposed to be servants and messengers and prophets of the Lord. You know, handling the word with honesty and truth, not deceiving. You know, it matters. Your conduct and behavior of who you are. You know, how you treat your, your parents, your father and your mother. How you talk to your father and your mother, man. That matters. Okay. How much more uh, for, the, for the Lord's uh, uh, men that's weak, that's not awoken, but they're going to be awoken. You know, they, they're going to come across these videos. They're going to learn the uh the uh breakdowns the, the precepts they're going to learn the, how to rehearse the holy days they're going to see these things you know so your conduct and behavior matters okay the fear of the lord matters so you know with that i want to give all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bahashim rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well salutations to the lord's elect shalom